Right, so this has been on for four, five minutes and I'll just show you the temperature now and it's, whoa, wow. I had a few issues with the gas. Sorry about the noise of the gardening. It's the first nice day we've had in the UK this year and everybody is out in the garden. So there's a lot of gardening noise around me. So apologies for that. This is definitely heating up faster than the pellets. this with the window with the door open is very different experience I can actually see it cooking so I can see the back going up I'm just gonna pull it out now to see how cooked that is really different um, and probably easier working with the gas because at least I can watch it burn <laughs> um, and watch it cook because you're kind of going blind when you're doing it with the um, there, with the wood pellets so Cheating video, but I'm doing this real time. I'm sorry, I thought my. On full, what the gas. This is the first ever gas-fired pizza I've made. 
and I cooked it on the high heat and I did it real time. The stone wouldn't go higher for me than 370. If I can get the stone higher, I think I can get a better base than that. The reason why I kept it on high is because the wind is blowing it out and when I put it to a lower temperature, um, lower heat setting, the wind was just blowing it out all the time so I had to... It's a bit windy out there, not much, but it's just a bit and the gas doesn't like the wind going through so... I made this dough 24 hours ago and I cold proofed it overnight. So I'm just gonna give the dough a try. Taste wise, I've just bit into the crust there. It's not different to the wood fire. I can't really taste the difference. It's just tastes the same as the wood fired pizza. So it tastes like it's wood fired. Hmm, that's a nice surprise. I'm just concerned about the heat on the stone. I'm gonna have to get that hotter. It's cooked, mm, definitely cooked. I've got some, it's cooked it quickly. Very nice, and this crust is very tasty. It tastes wood fired to me. I like it. I thought it would be distinctly different taste, but no, it's just nice. It's like a nice, this nice singed taste of the crust, which I love. And I am pleased with the gas. So there's two things here that have been a bit of a problem using it for the first time ever. One, I'm absolutely petrified of gas appliances and two, I had to learn not to be so I had to put that regulator on there and, and it was leaking, I hadn't put it on properly and the gas was coming out and it stunk. The whole area was, and I'm sure I've like taken in lungs full of propane gas because it was leaking and I didn't know how to stop it because I hadn't put the thing on properly. Once I'd sorted that out, then I realized the gas was coming out of the machine because the, the ignition switch wasn't working and hasn't been working. I don't think I can continue to use the match all the time because the match keeps blowing out. By the time I light the gas and put a match on, I'd be going through match boxes like, and I, it's just a bit of a hassle and, and the gas is going out. If there's a big gust of wind that catches it at, a, at the wrong angle, I'll contact Uni about it. Their video on how to fit the gas onto the Uni is really helpful. I used that, I watched it a few times just to make sure I was doing it right and I found it really helpful. Putting the gas machine on the back of the Uni was simple. I thought it was going to be much harder and much more complicated. It wasn't, it's just two screws. You just pop it on, pop it off, and you're done. It's easy to, to change between the wood and the gas and I'm really pleased about that. I do want to change back and forward all the time. Basic cheese pizza made with a gas burner. Yep, it cooked well. So I think a bit of playing with it now for my next few pizzas. I think it's going to be a lot easier than using the pellet. So I think it's nice to have it for the control and ease of use. This is a thumbs up. Thumbs up to the gas burner. Very nice.